guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Q&A slash update video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I asked a while back during Vlogmas or Vlog Summer. I can't remember. Did I do it? Yeah, I did the entire month of December. So I asked during Vlog Summer um, if you guys want me to do a Q&A and give me questions. I haven't gone around to doing it yet, but I um, finally screenshotted them. And now I'm going to answer you guys' questions. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to answer you guys' questions, and I'm going to tell you guys a few updates of me, or myself, or my what? I don't know. And I'm going to be doing a few updates as well. Let me find the questions. Okay, so the first question is from Lizzie Alexander, and it says, um, I think I remember you saying that you were in the military once yourself. Can you refresh us on why, where, and how? Describe your experience, especially being a woman. It must be significantly different for women than men, and why you decided not to make a lifelong career of it. So, um, I'm about ready to get, I'm about ready to get super real with y'all, and I guess we're starting with a super deep question. So yes, I did serve in the military. I entered in 2010, and I got out in 2012. I didn't fulfill my four years. Um, I got out after two years, but it was on an honorable discharge. Now, it was not exactly my choice, not my choice, to get out. Um, according to paper, it was my choice, but was more suggested to me to get out. So something very bad happened. You know what? I don't mind. I'm going to just tell the world right now because I'm over it and I feel like it's something that needs to be talked about. Um, so in the military, it is very, very, very difficult. Okay, it can either be really awesome being a woman or it can be very, very bad, depending on your unit. So the military is great and people in the military are very respectable. But um, the military is like anything else. It can be just like high school. It can be just like college. You have a lot of immature young men who just join to do their four years. They want to go shoot guns, blah, blah, blah. They don't join for the right reasons. Um, point being, if it was my choice, I would still be in the military today. I want to make a career of it. I loved being in the military. I was placed in the wrong spot. Um... I was stationed in the middle of America. I was stationed in Texas. There are a few bases, I'm not going to say which one. But I was stationed in Texas for uh, the duration of when I was serving. And I was the only female... Okay, so there was a bunch of females in my unit, but I was the only one who wasn't married or wasn't in NCO. Now, when you aren't married and you aren't in NCO, you are required to live in the barracks. Um, now... I was the only female amongst a ton of men living in the barracks and, well, um, I was also under 21, so I was the only one who wasn't drinking, and on the weekends, I would actually go get a hotel off of base because I was terrified of um, being alone in the barracks with, with a bunch of drunk guys, and for good reason. Uh, there was this one weekend that I didn't get a hotel, and, well, I'm going to just let you gather what happened after that, but um, I no longer felt safe in my unit, and I don't want to start crying because I'm over it, but anyways, a situation happened that led to my departure from the military. Um, uh, I went to, like, I, I put out my statement and everything like that. I'm getting a lot of anxiety talking about this. Anyways, so how do I want to put this out? Um... Um, hang on, I'm trying to keep like my composure, but um, yeah, it just, it was no longer a safe place for me. I guess I technically could have stayed in, but I don't want to see his face every single day of my life. And um, the problem with the military is there's also a lot of military politics, not talking like Republican, Democrat, I'm talking military politics. No, no unit wants to look bad. And if a bad situation happens in their unit, it is up to the unit to uh, either do the right thing and go forward to things or they could do the wrong thing and sweep it under the rug. So I was honorably discharged so that my unit wouldn't look bad and um, I don't know what happened to him. I think I think he got out. I don't know. I don't know but um, yeah so that is what happened. That's why I'm no longer in the military. Um, but you know what? I learned from it. I grew from it and I'm actually so happy with where my life is right now. I'm married. I have two beautiful kids and I'm doing makeup. I'm doing what I love. So everything no matter how bad the situation is, you guys, everything happens for a reason. And don't ever think or wish that you could go back and change something. I mean, yeah, it would be awesome to still be in the military. But if I was, I wouldn't have my two beautiful little girls. I, 
I don't know what I'd be doing. I wouldn't be doing this, and this is what I love doing, so it's okay. You know, what happened wasn't okay, but, you know, it's okay. I'm okay, it's okay, and I love doing this. So that is why I'm no longer in the military, but the military itself is amazing, you guys. Do not be discouraged. There are things that I've learned in the military that I take with me. You know, I've noticed that like when I got my f first couple jobs at, outside the military, like when someone of authority is talking to me, I still like put my hands behind my back at like parade rest. I just, I can't help it. Um, but it's very, very, very different. I don't think I'd be capable of being a civilian not married to someone in the military as well because, no offense to you guys, but when you get used to military life, civilians tend to annoy you. So I like living on base and being a part of the military life. Anyways, the military is great, you guys. I love it. I was just put in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, so that is the first question, very deep. Moving on to the next questions. It by is Anna, Anna? Is it Anna or Anna? I think it's Anna. Uh, Contreras, how long have you and your husband been married? We don't see him much in vlogs. So, um, we have been married on March 11th. It will be five years. Um, and I love him to death. And you don't see him a lot in vlogs for a couple of reasons. One, I mean, I'm not sure. So, he is military, but what he does is very, very top secret. Like, I don't, I can't even know. So, I don't know if I should be putting him in vlogs. Um, and on top of that, I don't know. I like to keep some sort of things private. Like, I don't, I like, I don't care if people see him, but it's like I don't go out of my way to vlog him. On top of that, like, I don't know, like, if it's something he wants. So, like, I'm scared to ask, so I just don't do it around him. I'm a very anxious and shy person believe it or not so I'm just not like hey can I vlog you know what I'm saying like I will vlog like what we're doing but I won't ever like you know be vlogging and he's like chit chatting with me kind of thing so yeah we have been married for on March 11th it'll be five years it'll be our first um milestone so I'm really 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 excited oh and to celebrate our five year anniversary we are going to Disney World I'm actually when this is going up I'm in Disney World right now so if you guys see me, come say hi. Don't be scared to say hi to me. Okay? Okay. By Megan Contrell. What are your feelings on friendships at this stage of life? Do you have a best friend? XOXO, love you. Love you too. Um, so my stage in life, what is my view on friendships? I think friendships are very important. It's actually this stage in my life. Ew. So it's actually this. Ugh, ugh, how long has that been on there? Ugh, I'm so bad about that. Um... So this stage of my life, this is when I've realized how important friendships are, especially when you're trapped at home for so long. I am a stay-at-home mom. I work from home. I am a full-time parent. I do YouTube full-time. I mean, of course, I don't make a living off of it, but I do YouTube full-time. I'm a freelance makeup artist. So everything I do is out of my home, except for the rare occasions that I do go to weddings to do people's makeup. Um, I mean, most of the time people come here, but when I'm doing weddings, I go there. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think friendships are very important because I found myself, like, um, all my friends are either like an hour and a half drive away or they are across the United States in Washington State where I am from. Um, and so I found it very difficult and I noticed that my anxiety is a lot more like I noticed the days that I'm very social, I'm a lot more level headed. It's because I have that outlet. When you don't have that outlet, you literally spend all day with your kids and with your head. and. When you have like anxiety depression like me your head can take you to some very very dark places and you create situations in your head that in a way like even though i know they're not true like my emotions feel like they're true and the days that i hang out with friends or i'm social i don't experience that so friendships are very important and this at this stage of my life this is when i realize who my forever friends are you have friends in high school and i don't mean this in like a negative way but 98% of those people you will no longer ever see again or you will not be like genuine friends with. Like I have all these friends on Facebook, you know, they're acquaintances, they're people, you know, I used to be really close friends with, which we still chit chat and everything like that and we're really cool and stuff, but they aren't like, if I am in a dark place and I need someone to talk to, they're not those people. So, I mean, it's going to happen. You know, As you get older, you're going to have less and less friends, but they are going to be the best quality of friends you can ever imagine and I have two 
very, very, very best friends. I love you guys. You guys are watching this and you know exactly who you are. They are very special to me and I will forever cherish their friendships. And then I have like five or six other pretty close friends, like about an hour and a half away. So I'm excited about that. But friendships are very important. Um, the ones that you know are your forever friends, hold on to them. That's all I have to say about that. Kayla Morgan, do you enjoy being a mom? If so, what is your favorite part? I love being a mom so much. I seriously, I love it. Like, once you have kids, like, you can't, Im I, th I know this sounds corny, but you literally can't imagine your life without them. Like, I almost don't even remember what I was like before I had kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's so hard to imagine it, because just when I think of anything before, I just think of my kids. And um, I'd say one of the most rewarding things about being a mom, there is a moment during the day that I can pinpoint where I'm just like, that right there and it's where you could be scolding your child i hate the word scolding but you know what i'm saying like punishing them or you guys could you could be arguing with your child but then two seconds later you just love you love each other and you hug each other and it's just those moments right there that sound super corny but i literally like choke up almost every single day like happened today like me and julie got in like a toddler argument and then like it was like upsetting me but then when she goes but then, you know, when we, you know, we aren't arguing and she's just in there playing, she goes, Mommy, I love you. I just, it makes me choke up. And that that's the best part right there, that no matter how much you make each other mad, you love them so much. And I just, I don't know. I love my kids so very much. And I love how me and my husband's relationship has blossomed ever since we had kids. I mean, of course, it was great before, but um, when you have kids, it's just, a whole new story and it's so 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 great yeah the next question is from Shiloh Bovin Bovin I'm sorry if I'm butchering that but she says what state do you live in um, and do you live in that state because you're in the military and if you were not in the military where would you want to live um, so right now we live in Maryland and it is because of the military um, we will be moving to Hawaii if you guys don't know uh, I have like mixed feelings about that to be honest with you, but we are moving to Hawaii um, So we just wherever we live it depends on what like where the military says where the military says um, And if we weren't when we get out of the military, we haven't really decided where we want to live We're kind of gonna base it off of work So there is a specific area of work that my husband wants to do when he's out and um, there are like three or four states that um, that the big company is at and so where we live will depend on like his job and everything like that. Why oh, is from XO Rosie. She said, "Hey, hi." By the way, she says, "Why slash how do you decide the names for your girls? Do you plan on having any more kids?" So uh, we knew. Okay, so me and my husband we have similar initials. It's just switched a little bit. His initials are J M H and mine is M J H. So super similar. Um, you just switch the J and the M. So we wanted to have that same trend. So we knew we wanted two kids, and we wanted one kid to have M J H, like me, and the other one to have J M H. So we started out with the initials, and we knew that for a fact. So whether it was boys or girls or you know whatever, and um, I knew for years. I'm like ever since. You know, I even thought about kids. If I had a girl, I knew I wanted to name her Julia. But I feel like Julia is more of, I mean, Julia is a cute name, a pretty name, but I feel like Julia is more of like a beautiful name. And I really wanted a beautiful name. So we decided to go with Julia. And when I told my husband that, he was on board with Julia. And um, we also want to keep the initials of our mother. So it works out that his mom and my stepmom slash aunt have the same middle name. So um, Julia has the same middle name as them. And then, of course, our last name. And then for Marissa, she is MJH because, you know, the first one we want Julia, so JMH for Justin. And then MJH for me. So we have Marissa. And her middle name is the same middle name as my biological mom. Yeah. So not my stepmom, but my actual mom. Which, by the way, she's been my life my whole time, so anyway. So, yeah, uh, we are representing the middle names of all of our mothers, which I think is great. And we are keeping our initials, so that's how we decided on those names. Um, the next one is, oh wait, and she asked, do you plan on having any more kids? The answer right now is no, but what we always said is we want two kids, and then we want an accident child five years later. So, we'll see. <laughs> um, Kieran, Kyron. Candola. 
Um, she says, it's the first time on my channel, so what do you do for a living? And what's the best advice you could give to a younger you? That's a really cool question. So what I do for a living. So what I do for a living is makeup. So I'm a freelance makeup artist. And then I also do YouTube. Now, of course, I don't make a living off of that. But with the money that I... With the money that I have, that is where I get my money, is from um, YouTube and doing freelance makeup. Most of my money comes from freelancing. This is just something I like to do as a hobby, and I have to get paid a little bit of money for it. I'm talking like a lunch every month. Anyways. Um, now, the last and final question I got off of my Instagram, and this is from JV Honrath. What is your favorite look to do on clients? And my favorite look to do is, I actually, and, gosh dang. I have done a similar look um, on four clients because they all ask for the same thing. But um, a very common com combo of wedding colors is navy blush and white or navy blush in some sort of other color. And a lot of women want um, neutral to warm smoky brown eyes with a hint of shimmer and then they want like a mauve rose color lip. So that's like my favorite thing to do because I also feel like it's very timeless, it's classic, it's sexy, and it's romantic all in one. I think mauve and rose combination is beautiful. I love to do, uh, so I love to do those combos. I literally have a row of five shadows I use from MAC that, MAC that just go boom, 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 boom. And then I do slap on a rose lip and then I'm good to go. So that is my favorite look to do on clients. Anyway, so that is all for the questions, but just a few updates about me. Um, I do have been doing my vlog channel, which I'm vlogging every single day. Um, I am huge into fitness, you guys. I'm also really into lifestyle stuff. I do all the whole planning and all that kind of stuff. Like, I have this 365 Happy Journal planner thing. So, I'm going to start doing videos like that on my vlog channel. So, if you want to see and learn more about me, subscribe to my vlog channel. You learn so much about me, and you actually learn how chill and laid back I am like this. It is... 10 30 at night and I put it on just for this video I wasn't wearing makeup at all today so um you see a lot of me and my personal life and my kids on my vlog channel along I'm adding in I have five videos planned that aren't vlogs but they're like lifestyle videos and stuff like that so I do have a vlog channel and um I am like I said I'm moving to Hawaii so I'm gonna be doing a lot of pre-filming so any video requests that you guys have be sure to put them in the comments because I need to pre-film six weeks worth of videos which is a lot so I have to pre-film six weeks worth of videos um so please send me as many requests as possible makeup look ideas review ideas anything that you guys want to see put it down below other than that, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more and give it a thumbs up for more Q&As in the future. If you are new to my channel, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Modesty Jean. That is my actual name. I've gotten so many questions on that before. My actual name is Modesty. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more for nor. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.